So what experiment are we doing today? We're actually going to investigate what happens to the size of the shadow puppet when you actually move the screen further away or closer to it. What equipment do you need? Right, so it might be worth going through your torch collection. That's probably the thing that you'd need to check because what we wanted to try and do was just actually get a single beam of light. Um, and when we actually looked through our torches, we found that some of them had six LEDs, which means it's got six light sources in there and we found that when we shone it onto the puppet you got quite a fuzzy image on them um, so we did have to try and find where we had a torch with a single led in the end um, so i went to the supermarket and i actually found these ones which have got one led in and we've adapted them a little bit by trying to sort of concentrate the light by just putting a black cap around it and then although we have sort of like puppets that are already made, the children love making their own and it, of course it actually makes it their own investigation then. So we've got bits of card and we've got um, lollipop sticks and of course a lot of the other things are just in a classroom anyway. We've got our rollers and we've got whiteboards here because one of the good things about actually doing it on a whiteboard is that you can use a whiteboard pen and the children can mark the oh, yeah. top and the bottom of the shadow. Like and as long as each time they do the same markings... And they go, yeah, to a particular yeah. place on the shape. Then they can actually take the whiteboard, place it on the table and then measure to the nearest millimetre. Yeah, although not with my marking. <laughs> it's not quite as... Yeah. It's not bad. Now, I know that not every class has a whiteboard, but I suppose you could actually use a plain piece of card and as long as you knew which the markings were, you could still measure could it. Mark them in different colours or something. Using yeah. different colours would work. Are there any particular health and safety issues? One thing that I would always stress whenever we use the torches is, particularly now as LEDs are getting sort of like brighter and brighter, is not to actually look into the beam of light. And we do try and give that health and safety warning just to remind them about it. And we've got these scissors here. These are classroom scissors that I think most classrooms have. They've got the rounded edges. Um, so when they're actually cutting, they're fairly safe to use. And what are the teaching points that will come out of this experiment? For children to discover for themselves that the light is travelling in straight lines. So, so you learn that because the shape doesn't change? Yes. So it's always, always the same shape? I also wanted them to actually um, do repeated measurements, just like scientists would, to check whether they were reliable and whether they were accurate in their measuring skills. Mm -hmm.